I wasn't actually planning on telling you guys this, but on the off chance my face is swollen for more than two or three weeks, I don't know if I could use the vacation as an excuse anymore. I also wasn't planning on telling my parents about this, but I didn't pick up my cell phone because I had it on airplane mode because I have metal plates in my head and I'm sensitive to it. They had the number to my parents' house on the hospital chart and my parents found out. Now they're freaking out because they're under this mind control from the government and the TV that if I go into a hospital, I'm going to come home and get everyone sick. You know, they wanted to kick me out of the house. I was looking at Airbnbs and hotels on Saturday. I was calling up moving companies to get all my stuff out of the house so I can keep my businesses running. My parents' response to me trying to improve my health by getting these plates out of my head has been negative and they don't care. Uh, thankfully, we're at the point now where they say, I think if I wear a mask for you know, two weeks in the house, it's fine. What's even crazier is they're saying, oh, you can't do this, you, you're gonna get sick, you're gonna kill everyone. They're acting crazy like that, but I'm getting tested for it at the hospital and the test is gonna come back negative and they're still gonna say I have to wear a mask. So they're just making things up as they go along. It's completely ridiculous. What even aggravates me more is my father went into a doctor's office last week, which is arguably not as safe and clean as a hospital. My mother went to the hair salon last week. I don't know what it's about. I'm beyond aggravated that the hospital told my parents that I was getting this. I was just gonna tell my parents that I got beat up or whatever. Uh, so just to give you guys some context, back in summer of 2016, I had jaw surgery to fix my underbite. You know, everything has gone extremely well, and I've been very happy with the results, the appearance, my bite, my teeth. That being said, my health has been declining fairly rapidly ever since I got that surgery, and it all started the few days after surgery. I remember the night I spent in the hospital where I couldn't fall asleep. You know, I was exhausted, and just thinking that I would sleep fine when I got home, but that never happened. I laid awake in bed for weeks, if not months, following that surgery, unable to sleep, assuming it was related to the surgery, and I even think I brought this up to the doctor and they just brush it to the side. Little did I know that the titanium plates and screws they installed in my head were acting as an antenna for electromagnetic fields, different types of magnetic fields from power lines, electric from the wires running through the walls, and radio wave fields such as Wi-Fi, cell phones, routers, cell antennas. So there's four plates with four screws each in my upper jaw, two plates on my lower jaw with four screws each, and a plate on my chin with three screws. It's quite a bit of metal. And this jaw surgery involved breaking both jaws, the upper and lower maxilla, and basically screwing them on the right spot. Pretty crazy six, seven hour procedure. So taking the hardware out isn't anything significant compared to it but in order to have my jaw stay in the right place and heal properly they had to use that titanium initially and i didn't actually find out it was the titanium until about a year ago when i came across this study effects of electromagnetic radiation on titanium implants metals presence within the body can act as an antenna to collect harmful radio waves thus inducing many general and severe symptoms such as headaches fatigue tinnitus dizziness memory loss irregular heartbeats, and whole body skin symptoms, which are considered to be caused by electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this might have some of those symptoms yourself, but you don't have titanium implants in your body. These are specific to radio waves because metallic implants amplify high frequency EMF 100 to 700 fold nearby and exceed the safety levels. If dental metals, crowns, fillings, bridges, titanium implants are implanted in the upper jaw, EMF is enhanced in the cranial nerves and brain. The presence of dental metals may increase the risk for EMF induced brain cancers several fold and should be acknowledged as confounding variable in future studies, exploring brain cancer risk independence of HF EMF exposure. The important thing to note from that paragraph is that these are symptoms from EMF when it's magnified 100 to 700 fold. It's not to say that you could be in an EMF environment that's hundreds of times higher than someone else and still have these symptoms. 
These symptoms are not necessarily specific to just having implants. Patients with severe or fatal illnesses like ALS, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, cancer, multi-systemic atrophy, multiple sclerosis, chronic fatigue syndrome, and severe chronic pain often have pieces of dental metals, mostly mercury, amalgam, in the jawbone. As that study says, this applies to titanium anywhere in the body, but since there's so much of it in my head, so close to my brain, as close as possible, I get insomnia and headaches incredibly easy. Before, when I used to go to Manhattan to work at steakhouses and restaurants, you know, I would get headaches and stomach aches sometimes if I didn't stay hydrated because I have been slightly sensitive to EMF, you know, when I had my braces and probably from my past Accutane use and I might have had a lot of iron stored in my liver which makes you very sensitive to Wi-Fi fields. But now when I just drive on the highway for 15 or 20 minutes with these new cell towers set up, I get a headache almost instantly. When I go down to the city now, it's a guaranteed headache if I stay for more than two or three hours. And this translates to me, you know, going to Frankie's free range meat, getting a headache. And as much as I try to take precautions to avoid problems, it has greatly impeded my life to the point where, you know, if I go out for an hour or two somewhere and I come home, I'm so exhausted and tired, I have to lay down for half the day. And I just can't get things done. You know, it's amazing, it's a miracle. I've published a YouTube video every day for the past few years with how much I've been suffering. And it's a combination of these titanium implants and the Accutane usage. Most people would be in a much worse scenario than me. They'd probably have IBS, they might have been thrown in the hospital, and, and some people would have been killed already. Back two years ago when I did the show MasterChef in February of 2018, that triggered this problem immensely. I had to stay in a hotel for two weeks. I didn't get one night of sleep. So I took a bunch of Tylenol and Advil because I was getting these really bad headaches and that damaged my liver to an extent where my ability to handle the oxidative stress from the Wi-Fi was even worse. You know, I went from having poor sleep, you know, from 2016 to 2018, but when I came back from MasterChef, no sleep at all. And back then I didn't know about the titanium in my head being a problem. I didn't know I had iron overload in my liver. Uh, those are things I've discovered since then. This applies to any relatively high Wi-Fi environment. Manhattan is exceptionally bad. It's why it sets the stage for what's going on on the planet right now. Hotels tend to be very, very high. And as we said, with this new infrastructure, these smart cities, there's nowhere I can go without suffering immensely. Even at my house right now, I turn the router off got rid of the smart meter in my house, everything's hardwired, I removed all Amazon devices, I warned my parents about their cell phone use, and although I would do that anyway, when they do forget to turn things off, when they do this or that, when they use the microwave every day, and I have to use my cell phone at intermittent times throughout the day to check on my businesses, uh, but again, you can hardwire everything, and I'll show you guys how to do that in the future, it's just... Now, I'm not in a living situation right now where I have complete control over my exposure to these devices. That sort of answers my next question. When I get these plates out of my head, does that mean it's a free-for-all and that I can live like a normal person? Absolutely not. Wi-Fi is still very damaging and a major lifestyle factor that needs to be removed completely if not reduced as much as possible. But, you know, when I get these titanium plates out, when I get all the iron out of my liver, will I feel a lot better? Will I be able to become the person I've wanted to be and help other people? I think I will. In a vast majority of my clients that I consult on diet and health, almost every single time there's a Wi-Fi issue. That being said, you know, much higher levels over prolonged periods of time can cause the same damage that was caused to me and the symptoms tend not to be so obvious. So by removing these plates from my head, I'm reducing the amount of oxidative stress and cell damage that is happening. Basically, this titanium makes it so when I use a cell phone, it's like someone else standing next to a cell tower or you know, dozens to hundreds of times worse than a normal person using that cell phone. Hypothetically, there are Wi-Fi environments high enough where someone will suffer more than me, even without titanium plates, yeah, if they were very close to a cell tower, but those environments aren't common, or at least they weren't until they started putting cell towers and antennas up next to schools and churches. As you guys know, I'm still looking at those farm properties, and I would have loved to be out of here two, three months ago, but, you know, one property was sold already, one was under contract, a couple fell through. I really need to get in an environment where 
I'm more positive and I can restore my health even further. You know, regardless of me getting these plates out of my head, I plan on basically living in the woods. The reason they need to be removed, because there is no way to completely eliminate these frequencies. Even if I'm out in the woods, if I ever have to travel somewhere or drive somewhere, with this new infrastructure especially, I will always be at a higher risk for cancer and diseases due to the amount of oxidative stress happening to me, especially in the brain, uh, which might even be giving me the memory problems I've had. Uh, so the surgery is planned this week. Uh, I'll give you guys an update video sometime later this week or early next week and I do have YouTube videos filmed for over a month uh, so there will still be daily posts uh, just no live streams depending on how swollen my face is and it might not actually be that bad I don't know uh, we'll have to see you know worst case scenario you know you know three four weeks from now when I come back my face might still be a little swollen and that swelling might continue for a, a few more months like it did with the last surgery uh, so thank you guys for joining me today uh, hopefully this is one of the last, you know, mountains to cross or, well, whatever, speed bumps in the road uh, with my health problems. And then as soon as I remove all of the iron from my liver over the next, you know, four, five, six months at most, you know, I'm going to be super healthy by this time next year. So I'm looking forward to that. And, you know, with this information, I've understood myself. I've been able to help uh, more people than you can really count. Uh, so thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Oh, I almost forgot. I just want to be very clear. There's going to be no live stream today, guys. I'm sorry about that. No live streams this week, maybe next week as well. I'm going to take this on a week by week basis. And as soon as most of the swelling is down in my face, we'll start doing the live streams again. Um, I'll let you guys know that in an update video.